Today we're going to discuss the science of LGD4033, also known as ligand draw. Before we get started, like the video and subscribe to the channel. For those of you who don't know, LGD is a SARM, which is a selective androgen receptor modulator. They're relatively new to the supplement world and they are often considered a non-steroidal safer alternative to something like anabolic steroids. But at the end of the day, they're still considered a performance enhancing drug or supplement. Now that you're up to speed on what a SARM is, let's look at Lig and Draw itself. LGD is one of the most common SARMs on the market, and for good reason. It's one of the few drugs that have actually made it past animal testing and onto human trials. Originally created to be a safer alternative to steroids to help with muscle wasting diseases such as muscle dystrophy, sedentary age-related conditions, osteoporosis, and more and most importantly, cancer. Cancer being the most catabolic state you can be in because your body can literally atrophy and waste away. It's theorized if you can improve or retain muscle mass with these kinds of conditions, you can improve the quality of life for these individuals and inevitably lead to their survival. So how does this play into the athletic world? It should be no surprise a supplement used to improve muscle mass should be questioned. But how does it work and what does the research say? LGD modifies the androgen receptor. What does it all mean? And androgen receptors are what anabolic hormones like testosterone bind to. So by modifying the receptor, you're modifying your body's ability to use its own anabolic hormones without any kind of injection. While few studies have been released, one study that took 76 males between the ages of 21 and 50 and randomized each group with their dosages and placebos, they completed 21 straight days of being dosed and were tested on their lean body mass, muscle strength, their sex hormones, and their stair climbing power. This is especially important for elderly people. I've fallen and I can't get up. The group that took one milligram per day saw an increase of 1.2 kilograms of lean body mass. Now for you Americans, 1.2 kilograms is the equivalent of 2.6 pounds. Some people try for months to see that kind of lean body mass increase and that's only with three weeks at one milligram per day. Another study done with primates, after 13 weeks of dosing, there was significant weight gain, and they retained 70% of that weight even after 4 weeks of not being dosed with LGD. So if that's the same for humans, you can assume you'll gain and keep at least 1.82 pounds of lean body mass, which may not sound like much, but still isn't bad. Oh no! What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Your steroids have worn off. You're weak like everyone else. Okay, so far it sounds pretty good. What are the negatives? As the human trials are still in, a, in their infancy, we can't say for sure what the negatives are for long-term use or for high dosages. But what we can say for our group previously mentioned, that after the study was over, up to five weeks later, there were no negative effects on the prostate and the body's natural hormone levels returned to normal. Oh, the study on the primates, however, showed that 75 milligrams per kilogram of body weight was stopped short due to toxicity concerns. However, they were able to finish a 13-week study with 3 milligrams and 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight without complication in these primates. Now, to me, that still sounds like a ridiculously high dose considering what is recommended by SARM companies like Enhanced Athlete of dosages of 5 to 10 milligrams per day for up to 8 weeks. So how about some anecdotal results? Since starting my channel, I've met a lot of amateur and professional athletes in the powerlifting and bodybuilding world. And one amateur bodybuilder I know had this to say about LGD. So quick recap. Can and will it help you increase lean body mass? Without a doubt, yes. Are there adverse side effects? Technically, that is yet to be determined. However, more studies are being done on this supplement and are yet to be published. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up and definitely check out my other supplement science videos.